As a Sacred Heart community, we are reminded that we are called to be people of justice, grounded in love, mirroring the attitudes of Christ's heart of compassion, hope and respect. We respect the inherent dignity of each person and the integrity of all creation. As we gather on this land, united in the spirit of Korunam, we acknowledge its traditional owners, the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation. We pay our respects to the elders, past, present and emerging, and recognise their continuing connection and contribution to this land. Welcome alumni, family members, friends, and all those in the Sacre Kirk school community joining us online today for the 2021 Massive Remembrance. My name is Stephanie Quinn, Alumni Association co-president with Gemma Rice Van Heer. The COVID-19 pandemic and its impact on our ability to be physically present, to sit with, touch, hold and hug one another in sharing our tears, laughter, stories and tributes has, for many, exacerbated the sorrow, anguish, loneliness and grief often evoked by death. We have been challenged to find other ways to be present and give solace, peace and hope to the dying and those whose lives they have touched. Although due to restrictions imposed by the pandemic, we are unable to come together in our beautiful chapel today, we are fortunate that with the kind assistance of the school, we are again able to stream our massive remembrance and in this way join and be present with one another to commemorate the lives of those we have loved and lost this year. Welcome and thank you to Father Stephen Fletcher, who is our celebrant and who leads us in our service today. The first reading and responsorial psalm will be read by school principal Adelina Milliet Duvos, co-president of the Alumni Association, Gemma Rice Van Heer, will read the prayers of the faithful. The names of the deceased whom we commemorate today will be read by Marissa Reed. School Board Director, Community Council Chair and Alumni Committee Member. Our heartfelt appreciation to all those who have worked together to hold this massive remembrance. In particular, school staff members, Melinda Adams, Alumni Relations Manager, Mark Oski, Director of Mission, videographers Brandon Quigley and James Beard, Rebecca Long, events coordinator and alumni, pianist Adrian Russell, as well as Jade Hutchinson, 2022 music captain, and Penny Richards Fowler and Marion Andrews from the Community Relations Office for their generous assistance. In the spirit of Corunum, let us be present for one another as we reflect upon and give thanks for those we remember and for whom we offer this Mass today. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy. 
mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. The life and death of each of us has its influence on others. If we live, we live for the Lord. And if we die, we die for the Lord. So that alive or dead, we belong to the Lord. This explains why Christ both died and came to life. It was so that he might be Lord both of the dead and of the living. This is the word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm is, The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my help. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Before whom shall I shrink? The Lord is my light and my salvation. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, for this I long, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to savour the sweetness of the Lord, to behold his temple. The Lord is my light and my salvation. O Lord, hear my voice when I call. Have mercy and answer. It is your face, O Lord, that I seek. Hide not your face. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I'm sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Hope in him, hold firm and take heart. Hope in the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Please stand to welcome the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord says, come to me, all who, who labour and are overburdened, and I will give you rest. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus exclaimed, I bless you, Father, Lord of heaven and of earth, for hiding these things from the learned and clever and revealing them to mere children. Yes, Father, for that is what it pleased you to do. Everything has been entrusted to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father just as no one knows the Father except the Son and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labour and are overburdened, and I will give you rest. Shoulder my yoke and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Yes, my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Can't help uh, but to remember a story I heard of a man, it was his funeral actually, and at his funeral the priest got up to talk about it, and the church was packed and was overflowing, and to outside and uh, people still coming in from the car park. 
Uh, but this man, um, they could never find his baptismal certificate or his birth certificate. He was an Aboriginal man. He was a part of the stolen generation. And uh, so he was taken away from his country as a little baby. And often this happened. Uh, details were meant to be following, but uh, they never did follow. And so he always had, uh, as he grew up, not knowing where he was from, but later on connecting with country. But he uh, always would in humorously to say, well, I'm a nobody because they can't find my birth certificate. But here at the end of his life and at this funeral, he was somebody. And he was held dearly in the hearts of hundreds and hundreds of people. And uh, I think that's what St. Paul talks about when he says, you know, that our lives, you know, has an influence on others. We think we're often so small and insignificant. And even if we didn't influence like that man did, thousands of people perhaps, perhaps it's just the one or two, but that's just as significant, just as important, that our influence on others, we are in the very much in the charism of Sakur and of this place, the charism of, of one heart and the dignity of the human person, that uh, every person in life and death is unique and worthy of dignity and worthy to be remembered. Because when a people loses a sense of its memory, or it loses a sense of the past, Whereas it loses a sense of the elders that have gone before us, it loses a sense of its roots, its source, and its sustenance. It also loses a sense of uh, what it is to be a people. Because as we remember our history, good or bad, we don't try and expunge our histories. I remember once uh, at a funeral, um, people got up to commend the person who had passed away. Um, this is, I did a fair bit of work up in the Northern Territory and uh, one fellow humorously after everyone had got up and said all the nice things about the person, they, he got up at the back and he said, now tell the truth because he also knew the humorous side of the person. We can kind of you know, purify and expunge the past of you know, um, the things that we're not so comfortable with. But... Uh, Jesus comes to uh, heal both the, the present and the past. And finally, I remember a friend of mine once saying his father had passed away many years ago when I rang him up to talk about when his mother had just passed away. And uh, he said, oh, you know, Steve, my, um, you know, my relationship with my father who passed away 20 years ago is much better today. And he wasn't trying to be funny. It's just the fact that when we'll hear in the prayers today of the church, we say that for those who believe in Christ, for those who have been baptised, life has changed, not ended. There's something eternal about our relationships in Christ. So as we commend our brothers and sisters to the Lord this evening, as we pray for them and remember all those who passed away, and particularly in these most difficult days of COVID, where, as uh, Steph said at the beginning, where we often haven't had the opportunity to really grieve, where we haven't had the opportunity to really hold and to touch and to be there in numbers sometimes of people we greatly loved, that we can pray in these days, that people would continue to experience the comfort, the mercy and the healing of the Lord.
We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and all church and civic leaders. May they be guided by the Spirit in all they do. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our relatives and friends who have died in the past year. Dorothea Bradley. Gabriel Cassavetti. Elizabeth Cooney. Sarah Harry. Rosemary Ivy. Julie Crochell. Angela Lynch. Gabriel McCarthy. Carla Muirhead. Margaret Murphy. Margaret O'Sullivan. Maureen Pacano. Jennifer Tolman. Monique Waring. Morag Archibald. David Carroll. Andrew Casey. John Chubb, James Collins, Frank Costa, Peter Dowling, Nick Elwood, The Honourable Sir James Gobbo. Dr. Keith Grabow. Margaret Grotchen. Wilma Higgins. Maxwell Hurse. Brigitta Johnson. Mark Kowalski, John Loschiavo, Elizabeth Luscombe, Brian McCarthy, Mercy Nolan, Doreen O'Halloran, Anne Riley, William Richards, Nancy Robin, Catherine Tolman, Claire Ward, Barbara Westcott. John Wolf May they be reunited in your kingdom where there is no more parting or sorrow but eternal peace and joy Lord hear us Lord, hear For the whole of humanity that through this time of covid crisis we are led to build a world rich in mercy bright with your care for the vulnerable and renewed by an awareness of the deeply spiritual nature of life and presence of the divine. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you for listening to our prayers. May we have the courage to commend ourselves into your hands when our time comes and go with Christ to a life which has no end through Christ.
Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer the fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become for us our spiritual fruit. Blessed are
deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. And graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory and the glory
Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thank you, God.